Well, welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to Ion Energy's channel on the forefront of lithium exploration. Joining us, Chief Executive Officer, as always, Ali Haji. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to be back. Great to see always, you again. Always a pleasure to have you back, man. And we got so much to dive into. You've been posting some pretty incredible uh, filings recently. And we might as well kick it off with the most recent as Ion Energy identifies new lithium discovery, the White Wolf Prospect with highly encouraging results of up to 1,502 PPM. Now, just for the new retail investor out here, break some of these highlights down, simplify it for us, let us know what's going on. Absolutely. So, so when we took on the asset, the Baba Iol, our flagship license, which is 81,000 hectares, 24 kilometers from the Chinese border, um, we, we looked at it from a, a very sort of a, a measured approach. And so we did some micro seismic, we did some CSAMT, we did some RC drilling to identify the rigs. Uh, but we found a way to sort of uh, de-risk the asset in its entirety in, in, in quite a, a simple way using auger rigs. Um, and when we took on the asset, uh, the maximum grade obtained at the time by the University of Science and Technology was 811 ppm. Uh, we have since drilled 222 holes across the license and you know, for, for some scale, it's about five times the size of Vancouver. So not a small license by any means. Um, we've drilled 222 holes across that entire license. We've received 12 and a half percent of the assay results back. And in those assay results, we found that the maximum grade obtained thus far is 1502 ppm. So almost double uh, the max grade that was received in 2016 before that license was granted to us. So we're extremely excited as a team, extremely, extremely excited as a, as a board, and we look forward to the rest of the assay results uh, that start to pour in here. Yeah, that's pretty incredible. Um, let's refine this down a little bit because you guys also posted some interims. And aside from those great results, I mean, on your interim financials as of September 30th, I mean, you guys were sitting on total assets of about 6.4 million, uh, 4.6 million of that being cash. I mean, you've only got 424k liabilities, absolutely robust uh, balance sheet on this last interim. I mean, do you want to offer uh, any insights here and along with uh, whatever guidance and, you know, future expectations that you're kind of getting excited for moving into 2022? We'd love to hear it. Of course. So 4.6 million keeps us funded for about 18 to 22 months for all exploration activities on both our assets. So we're in a very strong financial position. We also have access to about $11.5 million in warrants if they were to convert. So the treasury is in great shape uh, in terms of what you can expect from us over the coming uh, year or 2022 is advanced drilling on Baba Yol, some more hydrogeological sampling, you know, determining flow rates, understanding the aquifers beneath surface uh, better. Also exploring uh, Urgak Naran, our flagship license, uh, our secondary license rather, that we haven't had a chance to get out to just yet. So a lot of work uh, will follow. And I think that the market re-rate will happen when we have additional results. And, and you know, uh, we could look to a, to a potential strategic sort of conversation in, in, at the end of Q1, whereby we, we may do an equity raise at a higher price. But of course, there is no requirement for, for us to do so at this time. Yeah, we got lots of blue skies to look forward to here, man. I really appreciate your time today, Ali. Absolutely. Pleasure being here as always. And on that note, folks, if you ever have any questions, always let us know what you think in that comment section below, and we can do an investor Q&A perhaps down the road as we head into the end of the year here. But stay cool, stay awesome, and we'll catch you in the next one.